Good afternoon. This is just a, a quick video I'm making about how to set up a display capture in uh, OBS. Uh, this is specifically for t version 27, which as of this moment is not out fully, but it's on a very late beta stage. And it at, at this point, nothing about the process that I'm working with here will change between now and the full version that will probably be within a manner of weeks of when I'm recording this. So some things have changed regarding display capture uh, in this version of OBS in that before uh, you had to change which graphics card OBS was using if you had a multi-GPU system, say for a laptop. This is where most of those problems would come from if you're using a laptop. Um, it will only use one. OBS will only use one GPU. And by default, it uses the discrete GPU so that things like game capture and window capture will work, for example, on a game I have set up here. Uh, and people would add display capture and it wouldn't work. And they why is my screen black? Um, and there's lots of things out there telling you, you know, the right solution, which is to change your graphics to the integrated one. But that, you know, that removes your ability to use game capture and window capture. It removes your ability to use an external monitor that you may have connected to your laptop. So for version 27, the developers put in a system which is now available to them through Microsoft, through the way that the operating system works, that you can capture display using essentially what is the window capture process. So now I'm on a desktop, so this is, you know, I don't need to do this, but I'll show you the differences anyway. So just the quick basic, so we go here, we have a scene, I'm gonna create a new one because you, for display capture, you should always have it in its separate scene by itself. So it doesn't interfere with things like game capture and window capture, and you're not doubling up on captures, which reduces performance, example. So you have display capture here. Now you got a clean, no sources, nothing else. So you go here, you add display capture. Uh, name it whatever it is. So now I have it here. Now, it's going to default to automatic because for most people, say, if you have a single GPU system, automatic is the best because it uses the original desktop duplication method, which just grabs it from how it's displayed essentially to your monitor. Um, if you're on a multi-GPU system, the automatic will most likely not work, assuming OBS is tied to the default GPU discrete. You know, like if you have a NVIDIA laptop that has a NVIDIA GPU, it's going to use that rather than the Intel processor GPU that all laptops will have. Those aren't as good. They don't provide as much performance. So that's why we usually recommend staying on the default and using game and window capture unless absolutely needed. Now, in version 27, you are able to select... Uh, this method, Windows 10, 1903 and up. Now that means that you have to have that version of Windows 10 to use this method. It will not work if you don't have that version. That's the WGC capture type. Um, it allows hardware accelerated uh, windows to be captured. It's built into Windows. We don't have any control over when that is and is not put in. You have to have this version for it to work. Uh, so you'll select that. Now you will notice is if you select that, a, a yellow border will come around your monitor. That is a side effect of this capture type. We can't remove it as of yet. It will be toggleable later on in Windows feature versions, probably within the year, though there's no guarantee of when that will happen, but it's not available yet. That is a side effect of this capture type. So now you have it here. Uh, you can select whether you want to capture the cur cursor or not. And then that's it. Now you have a display capture that you can change to whatever you want. Uh, like I said before, recommended still to use game and window capture natively to capture things like 
you know, if you're playing a game, set up the game capture. Uh, window, like a browser or Discord, use window capture. Those are generally better in most cases. Uh, but display capture now will be a lot easier to set up if you don't have that. So that's how to set up uh, display capture in the new OBS 27. Like I said, you have to have version 1903 of Windows or newer, up, you know, anything beyond that will work to use this method. If you have an older version of Windows, that method will not be available. You would still have to change that in the, uh, if you're older than 1903, you'd have to change that in the corresponding uh, control panel of your graphics card, either NVIDIA or AMD. I'll put a link in the description with a full guide as to how all of this information, uh, just setting up display capture in general, that will have information about that as well. Uh, but if you have an older version, I would highly recommend updating to at least 1903 as those 1800 and older versions of Windows are not supported anymore for consumer users. Uh, the updates are free. You don't have to buy them or anything. You should be able to find them. If you, even if your PC doesn't automatically update, you should be able to download them from Microsoft with a creation tool or something of the sort. So I'd highly recommend that. That way you can take advantage of this update and of all the other stuff that uh, may come with that. So thank you for watching and look for all my other stuff on this as well.